Today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Supply Pod by Outer Places. This is Supply Pod for February 2017. It looks sort of intimidating by the fact that this is upright. It's almost as if somebody's just left this pod in this review space. What is this pod for? Well, this pod has some of the coolest collectibles encapsulated inside this box. That sounds tantalizing, doesn't it? I, yeah, it does. www.getsupplypod.com. That's the place where you can go to. It's not a government-run facility, at least not that I'm aware of. And you can get one of these boxes delivered to your house that following month. So if you subscribe this month, you won't get necessarily this box, eh, but you will get, huh? you might get a supply pod for next month, which would be March 2017. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to get this cut open. You can see exactly what you could have gotten in this box had you had the chance and subscribed to this box sooner. Don't feel discouraged. Don't feel like a sad panda. We don't need any more sad pandas in the world. Sad pandas are really depressing. Don't be a sad panda. See the virtue in the fact that what you saw in this month's box as an enticement to then get next month's box delivered to you. That's, I guess, reaching out. This is Supply Pod giving back and delivering you the box next month. And then you can wonder in the splendor that is the Supply Pod. Let's open it up and see what we got or see what you would have gotten inside the Supply Pod for uh, February 2017. For starters, it is Robotics. I'm assuming that is the title of this month's box, the Robotics. The only mystery box where science meets science fiction. That basically sums up the Supply Pod. We'll put that to the side, and I'm sure we will revisit that. For starters, we get ourselves a t-shirt. And let's see what's inside. Let's see what's on the t-shirt, I should say. It says, Robotics, the branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robots. That is the definition of robotics. The definition of a t-shirt is a short-sleeved article of clothing worn over the top torso of an individual. It actually doesn't say that. I just kind of pulled that out of my head. I was very good at Boulder Dash. A t-shirt right over there, indicating what the description of robotics right on the front. Next inside, we have ourselves the Elon Musk and the Quest for a Fantastic Future by Ashley Vance. This is the New York Times bestseller ad uh, seller adapted for young readers. I, said, I know I said adapted, adapted for young readers. Got a little ahead of myself there. The back. Uh, let's see, Elon Musk is the most daring individual of our time. There are few people in history who could match Musk's endless drive and vision. A modern combination of famous inventors and industrialists like Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and Steve Jobs, Musk is the man behind companies such as SpaceX, Tesla, SolarCity, and PayPal. They are transforming the way we live. Written with an exclusive access to Musk, his family, and friends, this, bus this book traces Musk's journey from a kid in South Africa to a young man in the United States. His impressive technical inventions and his world-changing companies, Musk has sparked new levels of innovation in the world. His drive and vision have led him to revolutionize three industries at once, space, automotive, and energy. This lively biography offers a detailed but fast-paced look at his remarkable story. This comes to us also from hypercollinschildrens.com. The book is $6.99 or $8.50 Canadian, so to give you kind of a value as to all the other stuff that you're going to be getting inside this box. Elon Musk and the Quest for a Fantastic Future. Put that right to the side. Actually, we won't put that over top of the booklet because I want to look at that later. Inside as well, we have ourselves Fun Mechanics Kit Tin Can Robot. Turn a metal can into this walking, wobbling ball-eyed robot it can be transformed to become a robotic monster too cans can be cool uh, green science millions of metal drinks uh, drink cans are thrown away every day you need to recycle one of them to complete the project 
It's recommended for ages over eight. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years of age. Very, very cool. Look at this. Even comes with moving eyes. We got some body rings, short leg, long leg, gripper hands, straw attachments, a toy motor with gear, battery casing with cover and wires, some moving eyes like I mentioned, plastic feet, a motor axle cover, axle with gear, and body plates. Not to mention some bendy straws, two metal wires, and two eye base plates. All of that gives you this. A transforming robot may or may not take over the world. Results may vary. Inside as well, we get ourselves a, this is a wind-up creature, a Kiwa, a Wika, a Wika. I said a Kiwa, that's not, that's not right. It's a Wika. Comes to us from Kickerland. There's the back of it right there. It's actually got little moving legs. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to open this one up. The other one is a little bit more involved. And, uh, oh, look at this. Well, it's not. Obviously, I have to wind it up still. Wind it up. Is it going to move now? Oh. It's moving like a little... It's like a little bug! Look at this! There it goes! With its little tiny legs. That is cool and somewhat scary. The fact that I gave life into this little tiny creature that will eventually enslave this planet. Maybe not. Results may vary. Just think that somebody would have written, drawn that all out with a blueprint. I love blueprints. And would have designed this. Just a spectacular marvel of technology and ingenuity constructed into this tiny little robot with little cool Smurf-like legs. Put that right over there. And we have one other thing inside here. This is the Hexbug Nano. A little tiny Newton series bug that squibbles and squirms and moves across the floor. It's recommended for ages three and up. Also available accessories for your Hexbug Nano specimen. You can collect and connect. You can connect them as well. Apparently you can. Collect and connect them. Very, very cool stuff. Now, let's have a look at the booklet that came included along with our supply pod, which once again is entitled Robotics. Let's have a, a look through, shall we? In this issue, a short history of robots. How would you like to build a robot at school? Yes. That's actually not the next category. The yes was actually just my answer to that, that question. Navy robot, firefighter puts out blaze for the first time. Dive into the quarter robotics theme supply pod. Japan accepts America's challenge to a giant robot duel. NASA wants its humanoid robot Valkyrie to get to Mars. And finally, sketch and share your own robot creation. So we've got a short history of robots. Of course, had to be placed in there as well, the R2, D2, and C3PO from Lucas Films. Some also notable exceptions. There's Talos from the Jason and the Argonauts. Uh, I, Robot, of course, the original novel, which was then made into a movie. Uh, some of the other ones, Osimo, Asimo, is it Asimo or, I don't know if it's Osimo because I know that's South Park, Asimo, the Honda robot. Let's see what else we have in here. How would you like to build your own robot at school? Now, this is one thing that as soon as I saw BattleBots on TV, I think much like every other child watching that show, I thought to myself, I have to build myself a robot. I don't have the skills. I don't have the means. I don't have the materials. But gosh darn it, I need to make myself a robot. I think that lasted all of about four hours. Then a young version of me decided he just wanted to watch TV. I gave up very quickly on what could have been one miraculously intelligent robot. The world will never know. What's inside the robotics uh, box, however, for this month, we have a robotics t-shirt, tin can robot, Ellen Musk in the quest for a fantastic future, a week of wind-up robot, and a Hexbog Nano, which also is a robot. The Japan accepts America's challenge for a giant robot duel. That I would love to see. Me with loving giant robots, after all. NASA wants its humanoid robot Valkyrie to go to Mars. I don't know. I think sci-fi movies have ruined it for me. Because I look at that 
Some people would see Hope. I just think that that would be like a sci-fi movie where a robot goes rogue, goes up in space, and then is trying to kill the rest of the crew. Curse you, sci-fi movies, and all your wondrous abilities at telling stories. It stands at six feet, two inches tall, and 300 pounds. Yeah, it basically could take, take over the, the whole ship. Sketch your own robots. You can also share them with uh, over at the folks over at SupplyPod. Be sure to post either Instagram or Twitter using hashtag SupplyPod. Some exceptions are some examples. One, one, one from Chris, Chris Mahone, uh, Jacob Harris, Jamal Benjamin, and Stuart Lopez. Then on the back, a great gift and STEM activity to do with your friends and family. Perfect for ages 8 to 80. Ships quarterly. And every shipment is an entirely new theme full of surprises. Again, if you liked what you saw here, you can head over to www.getsupplypod.com. This video spot was having a look at the new supply pod from Outer Places. This month's box was entitled Robotics. If you like what you see, click the link down below or you can head over to www.getsupplypod.com. Uh, certainly as well, stay tuned guys, Spot's got more videos heading to you as well. Some may be robotic themed, others not likely. I'll leave it to you to decide as we are watching, as you are watching the new videos, is this robotic theme or is this not robotic theme? Or can this be made into a robot? The challenge is yours. Stay tuned guys, like I said, Spot's got more videos coming your way very, very soon. Thanks for watching, see you next time.